Hi guys, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking and today I want to show you guys how to use the slice function in the Cricut Design Space 3, launching officially July of 2017. Okay, let's go ahead and click this new project button down here on the left and I'm going to want to make a monogram. So I'm going to go to shapes first and select a circle. All right, I'm going to color my circle pink just for fun, right? Just because it's good. And then I'm going to take text, a text box, and I'm just going to type an M in it. All right, I don't like that style. That's pretty plain. So I'm going to go up here to font, and I am going to search for baby steps because I like that font, especially in the M. See? So cute, right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag to make this bigger to fill it. And then I'm going to slice this out. You know why? Because if I was making monograms and I had to glue every one of these M's on here, that's a very tedious job. Can you guys even imagine? You know, you got the tweezers and the glue, whatever. Not fun. It would be better if the M was cut out and I backed it with another circle, right? Way easier. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is put a box around both layers. So I'm gonna click and drag and make that box. And then I just go down here to the right and I click on slice. What you need to think about the slice tool is that it is like a cookie cutter. So the M, the gray M is like the cookie cutter and I just smushed it right in to the pink circle. So I still end up with my pink circle piece, right? And I've got an, my cookie cutter, original cookie cutter. And here's my final result, right? So, so awesome, right? Now I do want to, I'm just gonna undo this so that I can show you something else you do need to know. You'll notice over here with the M on this right hand side that it has a shadow layer. If you click that shadow layer, you are not gonna be able to slice because slicing goes between one layer and another layer, just two layers. So now we have three layers. So even though I click and make my bounding box around this, slice is not highlighted down here because it has to be one layer to one layer. Okay, so this will become important in just one moment when you see the next thing I'm gonna do. It's just important to remember. Um, and sometimes when you can't get slice to work, you'll realize, oh, that's the reason why. I am gonna hide that, so there you go. Um, okay, moving on. Now I'm gonna make a little title bar. I'm gonna take a square, okay, and then I'm gonna search for an image. I've got one in mind, photo fun. And Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and search for an image. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and search for an image. I've got one in mind. It's called Photo Love. Here comes my image. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that on top. Now I'm gonna to have to resize this. So what I'm gonna do is unlock it, stretch it, make it taller. It's fairly easy to do it. When you're not as concerned about sizing, like precise sizing, you just click and drag things, it's great. Okay, so that's a cute title, right? But that's a pain to glue. <laughs> it is, let's just call it what it is. All right, but I want another thing in my title too, so I'm gonna put a little heart in there too. Just shrink that little heart down a little bit. Okay, Ooh, even more so. Here's my heart. Let me color my heart by clicking on it and giving it a different color, which we will choose white just for fun. All right, so look how cute that is, but that's kind of, you know, maybe not what you wanna do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag a box around this because I wanna slice it, but guess what? There is way too many layers on here. I've got this light pink photo. I've got this dark pink. I've got the heart. It's like, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four. It doesn't do four. It does two layers, one single to one single. 
Okay, so step one is I'm going to go ahead and hide that photo, the light pink one, and then I'm going to hide the heart. Okay, and then I'm just going to click and drag as such, and now my slice shows up again. So I'm going to go ahead and slice that. Okay, I'm going to take my photo love away. That's my cookie cutter part. That's what it cut out, right? Let's move this over to the side. Down, down, down. Let me move this down. Conveniently, that's a good way to actually make, if you wanted to do one of these looks, just notice that anyway. <laughs> now that's really fun to glue together, you guys. <laughs> that is a J-O-B, y'all. Okay, now let me, let me put the eyeball back on my heart so it shows back up. Now, it is now behind this item because it sliced and put it at the top. So I'm going to arrange and say move to front. There's my heart now. Now, I don't want to cut the heart out either. I don't want to be gluing little hearts or anything. So I'm going to click and drag a box around all of this. And again, now I only have two images, so it will let me slice. I have the sliced image plus the heart. So you can actually continue to slice sliced images. So I just pull this away, and I pull this away, and there you go. Okay, I just wanted to make it real clear. Sometimes when you can't slice, that's the reason. And here are some examples of slicing. So I hope that helped you guys understand the slice feature and why you would want to use it. And I hope you all have an awesome day. Take care.